Okay, class, for today's assignment, you will be reading chapters 1 through 5 of the textbook, so let's begin. Oh my gosh, this is so boring. I hope the class ends pretty soon. Yeah, you're telling me. Bro, I can't focus with that girl munching on the hot Cheetos. I know, right? It's like, at least close your mouth. Yeah, that's why I should subscribe to Bungie. Hey, Sarah, are you eating hot Cheetos again? Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast today. Well, if you're gonna eat, at least eat in the hallway. All right, fine. All right, as I was saying, class, make sure you subscribe to Bungie. He makes the best videos on the platform. Students, these can be a bit- Yeah, actually, I'm not gonna make an intro for this. You read the title, you know what the video's about. Let's just get into it. I'm not evil, I'm just psycho. I'm so profane that everybody looks- These are the type of girls that eat hot Cheetos in the back of the class. They're super loud and disruptive, and they feel like Patrick Starr, let's be real here. And sometimes they could chew with their mouth open and be disrespe- And the- And be disrespe- and be disruptive to the whole class. Why is that word so hard for me to say? Disruptive. Yeah, I'm leaving that in the video, I don't care. Anyway, overall, they're just super annoying. I feel bad for anyone who actually got in a relationship with those type of girls, because they're just not it. Plus, they can be super disrespectful to the teacher, too, and cause a bunch of drama that really doesn't need to happen. But then again, that's what's like with a lot of people in classes, where they're disrespectful to, to the teacher for no reason. And of course, there are instances where them being disrespectful is warranted, like if the teacher's being disrespectful to the students for no reason. But if the teacher honestly didn't do anything and the students are just being douches for no reason, then, well, that's when it's a problem. And I'm getting off topic from the actual type of student I'm talking about. Well, I mean, that's all I had to say, so anyway. Moving on. The pinnacle of raw entertainment my day spent throwing rock- I mean, do I even need to explain this one? This is the type of person that gets offended over literally everything. Like, even the smallest joke, they're gonna get super offended at because they're super woke and don't like anything slightly offensive. Like, if someone said a joke and said no homo, then she would be really mad. So what'd you get for lunch? Got a subway sandwich. Ah, nice. 12 inches of deliciousness. No homo, though. Ah, of course, of course. Um, excuse me, what did you just say? I said 12 inches of deliciousness, no homo. That is very homophobic. How dare you say that about gay people? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just said that as a joke. He said 12 inches of deliciousness and then said no homo. That was just a joke. He didn't actually mean it. Oh, so homosexuality is a joke to you, homophobes? I'm canceling both of you on Twitter. You're both disgusting human beings who should have been a Whoa, whoa, you're going way too far with this. If anything, you're the one that's being rude and outrageous. <gasps> How dare you? What's going on here? These people just made a homophobic remark that they claim is a joke. They said 12 inches of deliciousness, and the other person said no homo. How dare they? I mean, it was very clearly just a joke. Uh, are you serious? You're on their side? Aren't you gay yourself? Yeah, but they're very clearly joking. How dare you? You betrayed your own kind. Own kind. Girl, who do you think you are? Besides, you're not gay yourself, so don't speak for us, okay? Just shut up, Emily. It is not that deep. That bitch. That's it. I'm canceling you to the 10 followers I have. Bro, I don't even have Twitter. Yeah, me neither. She can go over the top with what she believes. But then again, a lot of people do that. So, I mean, is she really in the wrong? That's a rhetorical question. Yes, she is. The monster people treat me like a criminal, the pinnacle of raw entertainment. This is the person who's heavy into anime, like Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, Attack on Titan. Yeah, you name it. If it exists, they're most likely into it. I mean, I'm not into anime specifically myself. I'm more into, like, regular cartoons. <laughs> That's gonna trigger so many people, I just know it. <laughs> I live for the chaos. I swear, if people actually take that seriously, then they're only proving my point. But anyway, they're the people that are heavy into anime and know all the references and know all the hidden lore and secrets of everything. They know XYZ about this character and they know this specific stuff about that character. They can tell you the lore of a series without hesitation. Yeah, I was talking to Eric and he said that he got an A on the test. Ooh, nice. Ah, hello, my fellow classmates. Uh, hi Mark, how's it going? It is going great, my fellow classmates. I heard you talking about Eric. Did he say what he got on the test? Yeah, he got like... A what did I say before? A B on his test? <gasps> what? Nani? He got a B? I heard other people say that he got an A or a C. How could this possibly be? I must investigate this at once. Did bro just talk like he was in an anime? Did bro just Naruto run? We need to talk to more people. Yeah, we really do. Moral of the story, just don't be over the top with your weeaboo-ness. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but yeah, just don't go overboard with it. Don't act like you're in an anime. You're not in an anime. You're not the main character. You're just a regular person in a regular world. So don't talk like a main protagonist. Or like, huh? Nani? What? Like, just talk normally. You'll be fine. These are the designated funny people in the school. They play all the good practical jokes on people, whether it's students or teachers, or just literally anyone. Okay, class, can you tell me what comes before 47? <laughs> Oh boy, he better not say what I think he's gonna say. Yes, Timmy. I know what comes before 47. I swear, if this bro says it, AK. 
<laughs> to me, that's not funny. That's a very serious thing that we shouldn't joke about. I don't care. It's funny. Isn't that right, guys? Is it not funny? Is it not? Bruh. I don't care. It's funny. It's funny. They can make some of the most absurd, obscene, out-of-pocket jokes you ever heard, along the lines of the edgy kid. But he's a part of another video on the channel. Like, sometimes it could get to a point where the class clown goes too far and makes jokes about something that's really insensitive to make jokes about. Okay, class, today we're just gonna watch a movie. I'm not really in the mood to teach anything because, well, my wife is in the hospital and we don't know what's wrong with her. Oh wow, that sucks. Yeah, sorry to hear that, teacher. LOL RIPBOZO BRO That's super insensitive Nah, she should have done better Back to the gulag with her Nah, dude, trip Bro, chill Yeah, you're acting like she's dead She might as well be Goodbye now Back to the lobby Okay, well that's just plain racist Timmy, go to the office Okay, but that won't bring your wife out of the hospital Oh my gosh, he actually did not just say that Bro, I thought this dude was funny He's just insensitive Moral of the story Being a class clown isn't completely bad You just have to know when to make jokes about certain stuff Just don't be insensitive about actually sensitive topics Little rabbit coming out the factory capture me i will be the apparently these types of people are roaming around schools a lot more nowadays back when i was in high school which was only like a few years ago we barely had any type of furry people but nowadays there's apparently people with cat ears tails and all kinds of other accessories even people in full-on fursuits it's gotten to a point where apparently schools have had to actually bring litter boxes into the classrooms because the people believe that they're actually animals and they don't want to use actual toilets so like Bruh. Like, honestly, bruh. You're not animals. I'm a green snake. I'm actually an animal. Unlike all of them who are pretending to be animals. I swear I'm not a furry, guys. And they also be roaming around the halls just screaming, Ew, well. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> Why did I do that way too well? I feel like I did that a bit too good. I swear I don't say that in my spare time. I swear, I swear. <laughs> they also be saying a bunch of other cringe stuff. So yeah, just... Don't be those types of furries. Like, that's all I'm saying. You can do whatever in the comfort of your own home, but just leave that out of school. I never sleep. I stay away and pray on the week. Then I These people are honestly pretty interesting and entertaining. They always talk like they're performing in front of a crowd, and they can be a bit over the top with how they say stuff. And sometimes pretty zesty as well. Like, they just have that type of energy to them. You know what I'm talking about. Hello, everyone. You gonna see my performance on the stage tonight? Eh, hey, yeah, I'll probably make it. I don't know if I will. I'm pretty busy. But well, you have to be there. It's gonna be extraordinary. Anyway, I have to go back to stage to practice. Later. So you're gonna go? Eh, I don't know. The play itself seems pretty interesting, but him, he just seems a bit, well, you know. Yeah, I get you. I've encountered a lot of theater kids in my time, and I mean, heck, my parents are into theater. And I mean, theater's never really been my type of thing. They do plays all the time over at some theater places. I honestly don't know where, but that's why I've encountered so many different types of theater people in my life. Whether they're adults, teens, or whatever. I've seen a lot of different examples of theater kids, where their personality is like, up there. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I mean. I know all about how theater kids are. They're honestly not bad. They can be pretty fun and chill to hang out with. But I can get to a point where it can be a bit much. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Types of Students in School Part 2. Goodbye.